How's it going, ladies? Heather Wagoner here with an invitation for you to join us for an upcoming event that we're really excited about. I think you're gonna to wanna to make a point to save the date for Saturday, April 17th for IF Gathering. Now, if this event is new for you, stay tuned. I'm gonna to try to help fill you in. Now, this has been an extraordinarily difficult year in our world, in our nation, and right here at home. Many of our lives have felt turned upside down as we have sought to understand how to navigate a changing world as followers of Jesus. Now, if you're like so many others, you've probably found yourself asking lots of what-if questions. Well, this year at IF Gathering, we're going to focus on the even if. In the third chapter of the book of Daniel, we read the testimony of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego as they responded to the difficult circumstances presented to them. They declared that our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us. But even if he doesn't, we will not turn our backs on him. Even if, even if the worst happens, even if you lose everything, if your hopes are deferred, there is a God that has a plan for you in the midst of chaos. So on Saturday, April 17th, we get to come before God together and ask him the question, how do you want us to lead out? in a world and a nation, and even in areas more local to us, where it all feels very divided and dark, how do you want us to live? So one day, Saturday, April 17th, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Grace Point Fellowship is hosting IF Gathering 2021. We'll hear from dynamic speakers like Lisa Turkhurst, Jeff Bethke, John Mark Comer, David Platt, Joe Saxton, and more. The doors will open at 8.30 a.m., and breakfast and lunch will be included with your $16 ticket. Now, we need you to register and purchase your ticket by visiting the events page at www.iamgracepoint.com. Registration will close April 9th, so be sure to register right away. If Gathering founder Jenny Allen said it well when she said, I believe that in our places, loving our people, doing simple things well can change the world. I agree with that statement. Maybe you're like me and could use a reminder or just some time spent learning how to do that. Well, despite our circumstances, the hope of Jesus is still true. Through him, I believe that God can use us to help others see that hope and to draw others to lives that are unified and on mission together for the glory of God and his son, Jesus. We're gonna focus on that together at IF Gathering this year, and I hope that we'll see you there.